So now we have a new idea of when we might see Starship finally have its first orbital launch. And when I saw this date, it immediately made me think of this. It's gonna be maybe I do. Yeah, a stupid meme, but basically we're thinking it's gonna happen in May. So... Okay, hold up. Yes, I see the little fuzzies on my shirt. It's from my NASA sweatshirt, and I didn't realize it until after I was done filming, so we're just gonna pretend that there's stars in a galaxy. All right, let's go. I'm basically clearing my entire calendar so that I can be there. Just kidding, not really. I will try my hardest to be there because this is so exciting, but this new information answers a few questions that a lot of us have had, including will Ship 20 and Booster 4 be used in the first orbital launch? Elon says, no. In a reply to a tweet, he says that they will be using a new prototype, and that is because they want to use the new Raptor 2 engines. And this kind of answers another question. Although we've had a hang-up from the FAA because they have over 19,000 public comments to review, and they still have a target date of March 28th for their completion of that review, we know that there are other issues at play, including having enough Raptor 2 engines built to do this orbital launch. So it's not just the FAA. We can't blame it just on the FAA. And I feel like in some of my previous videos, I kind of focus on that too much as a main issue. And really it was more or less, will SpaceX be ready even if they get the FAA approval? So we know now that SpaceX is still trying to get enough engines ready. And this is by far and large, one of the biggest hangups that they have. This is a profound revolution in access to orbit. It is so preposterously difficult um, that there are times where I wonder whether we can actually do this. This is one of the most critical and difficult parts of the mission is creating those engines in high volume and quickly. So much of SpaceX's success is hinging on Starship working and actually getting into orbit. We know NASA plans to use the next generation spacecraft to send astronauts back to the surface of the moon. And of course, we know the main mission is to occupy Mars, get to Mars, and make our civilization interplanetary. And of course, we need Starship working for the success of Starlink. There are so many reasons why we want to get Starship finally operating and having multiple launches throughout the year so that we can get get the show on the road. I'm very excited about Raptor version two and it's, it's only gonna get better from here. So it's confirmed, the first Starship orbital flight will be with Raptor 2 engines. In fact, they are much more capable and reliable. According to Elon, there will be 39 flight-worthy engines built by next month, April. Then they'll need about another month to integrate those. So they're hoping by May, probably late May, based on this quote. The Raptor 2 is designed to be over 25% more powerful than its predecessor. And we know that Elon recently expressed some concern over the Raptor 2 production, even saying that they could face bankruptcy if they couldn't get the rate of engine manufacturing where it needs to be. That was actually back in November, right around Thanksgiving. I made a video about it. Here's just a little recap. So I wanted to first go through what was reported in that article and then also read to you some of the tweets or replies from Elon himself addressing this issue. So we learn about all of this through an apparent company-wide email that was sent out the day after Thanksgiving. In the email, Elon Musk describes a dire situation with the development of the Raptor rocket engines. He says that the Raptor production crisis is much worse than it seemed a few weeks ago. And in this email, he says that SpaceX faces a genuine risk of bankruptcy 
if we cannot achieve a Starship flight rate of at least once every two weeks next year. So again, we have another new date, another new target to look out for and be optimistic and excited about. So is this something that you plan to be there for? Or is this something that you probably can't make, but you'll for sure be live streaming it. And of course, I'm very excited about it happening. I love to read your comments. So let me know in the comments. Also, if you're not already subscribed to Ellie and Space, you probably should do that. Why? Because I have a lot of exciting content on the way, including an upcoming full week in Austin, Texas. I'll be there during the GigaFest and during the TeslaCon Texas. Um, I guess I'm speaking, so we'll see how that goes. But either way, I'm really excited. There's a lot of fun stuff going on and you won't wanna miss it. So I will see you soon.